Good evening. A man has been injured while chopping down a tree in Tari. Local paramedics treated the 53-year-old at the scene before taking him to Tari Airport, where the Westpac rescue helicopter was waiting. A man in northern New South Wales has tested positive to COVID-19. He returned a negative test result on day 10 of quarantine, but has since developed symptoms following his return home to Newcastle on Sunday. He and his close contacts are now in isolation. Meantime, six others have been diagnosed in the state. All are in hotel quarantine. For Macquarie Hastings Homelessness Support Service for Women and Midcoast Women's DV Court Advocacy will share in more than $150,000 to continue helping victim survivors through emergency accommodation and outreach centres. Liberty Domestic and Family Violence Specialist Services CEO Kelly Lamb says there has been an increase in demand since the pandemic hit. And Midcoast Council has received $10,000 to manage Flying Fox Camp. It fosters Carlo Street and Cocos Crescent Reserves, the home of the region's second largest fruit bat colony. The cash will be spent on a management plan on ways to reduce the impacts camps are having on neighbouring homes. The grey-headed flying fox is listed as vulnerable to extinction under state and federal legislation and is therefore a protected native species. Please join me now for Wind's All Australian News. Good night.